What's up everybody, my name's Fluffy and welcome back to the Game Zone and today we are doing another Pokemon opening video. I was uh, scrolling through Magic Madhouse as I usually do and wondered what I could possibly get to create another episode and then I saw, <coughs> excuse me, then I saw a thing that said five mystery packs you have no idea what you're gonna get it's just five mysterious packs so i thought i'd give it a shot and i thought i'd buy two lots so i have 10 mysterious packs you have no idea like i said you have no idea what they're gonna be they're completely random so let's find out what we have so we have a steam siege Evolutions, Fates Collide, Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, Steam Siege again, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising, all in Crimson Invasion. So, it's mainly Sun and Moon and X and Y stuff, which is what I pretty much thought it was going to be. Um, no, uh, like, offence to... Magic Madhouse or anything, but I think it's probably like a way to get rid of a bit of stock, mainly like X and Y and um, Sun and Moon stuff. So here are all the packs. Nicely laid out. There we go. So, yeah, these are just five random uh, booster packs that you get when you buy it. I think if I'm correct, it's like... I think it's eleven pound uh, per five packs, so it's not too bad. Considering you don't know what you're gonna get, I don't know if it's all gonna be like this, or if some of it would eventually be uh, like some black and white stuff, or maybe some older stuff. And I just got kind of unlucky in getting only this. However, there are a few packs here that I'm happy with. I am happy with. Evolutions, I am happy with Burning Shadows, and I am happy with Guardians Rising. Crimson Invasion I've never opened before, I actually skipped that set to be honest. There wasn't too many things in there that I was interested in, so I did skip that set. So I've never opened a Crimson Invasion, so I have no idea what to expect in that one. <clears throat> but, I'm going to start with the two Steam Sieges. And then probably the Fates Collide. They are the lesser known um, packs to my knowledge of what's in there. So we'll start with a Steam Siege. If I can get the pack open. I always struggle to open goddamn packs recently. The Dragon Majesty ones were really, really tough. Okay. So there is the code. One, two, three to the front. X and Y, so I don't think there's an energy to get rid of. So let's begin. I've really um, started to think. Well, start. I've really tried to um, think about what can I do to make the Pokemon vi the Pokemon videos I do because I'm do I am doing a lot of them more interesting. And I thought, oh, that's a nice card. And on the end, just a jump off. And I have been thinking of doing like a bit of a series. Um, I mean, it's not another Steam Siege, by the way. Not completely original. There are other YouTubers that have done it. But uh, in Dragon Majesty, you can get a um, you can get a gold card. And I've never pulled a gold card, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm tempted. To do like a little hunt for the gold series. And just opening Dragon Majesty packs. Until we get that gold card. Or until I just literally give up. And it's like ridiculous. I've watched videos where someone opened the... Uh, got the gold card off their first ever pack of opening. Um... Oh, there we go. Break card. That's nice. 
That that's a beautiful card. It was one of these, which uh, stereotypically you're not meant to get anything good unless breaks don't count. I'm not too sure. That was completely unexpected, <laughs> but I'm happy with that one. Uh, fates collide. So yeah, uh, someone pulled a gold card. Oh, that means there should be something good. Uh, off the very first ever like booster pack of uh, Dragon Majesty, and you know, and then you watch someone like an uh, enlisted Leaf who's what who's opened God knows how many packs, and he still can't get the bloody card. So we have Spiritling, Burmy, Seal, Fennekin, Gofita, Binnacle, Binnacle. Reverse Vullaby, and on the end, ooh, an Umbreon EX. So, so far, we've had a break card and an EX. I'm happy with that. I'm glad to have any EXs at this point. So, we've got one more. One more, um... X and Y pack, which is Evolutions, and then we go on to Sun and Moon. So I'm going to do Evolutions. Now, I have opened a booster box of these before, so there are a lot of cards I do have. However, I don't have that Charizard, that reprint Charizard. Maybe this way, I don't want to see what the colour code is. So, I haven't opened an Evolutions pack in ages. Not since the booster pack, which I bought at London Comic Con back in October. Last year, actually, now. So, Haunter. Revive. Misty's Determination. I have the full art card of this. It's such a beautiful card. Magikarp. Electabuzz. Vulpix. Rattata. Energy card. Reverse energy card. Come on. Come on. What's on the end? Just an Arcanine. No worries. I'll, I, I might try and buy another booster box of Evolutions. Because I actually do like the set. And hopefully I will pull that reprint Travisard. So here we go. We're down to just Sun and Moon. So we have two Guardians Rising. Two Sun and Moon base, Burn Shadows and a Crimson Invasion. Now Burn Shadows you can get the Rainbow Charizard, so I'm going to leave that one till last. I'm going to go with Crimson Invasion. I've never opened a Crimson Invasion pack. Um, like I said, it never really interested me this set. So I have no idea what to expect. Oh, I've opened it. Okay, there we go. So I have no idea what to expect. So, um, here we go. So, Haunter. Uh, Luza, Lu, ha, Lusamine, Lusamine. I don't know how you pronounce her name. Kakuna. Alolan Geodude. Pikachu. Oh, that's a nice little cute artwork. Uh, Skiddo. Starly. Salandit. There's a reverse type null. Now, what do you reckon we got on the end? We did get the white and green card, but that could just be a hollow. For my first ever Crimson Invasion pack on the end, we have... Oh, it is a GX. What a way to start off my uh, collection of Crimson Invasion with a Cartana GX. The shine on that card is absolutely insane for a gx that is absolutely nuts i'm i'm uh, amazed with that one the uh, for a gx yeah okay they're usually shiny but jesus that just seemed off the scale so just to we'll do a little recap uh so we've had one break card which is this 
Oops, dropping some other cards. So we have we have one break card, Yveltal. We've had some just reverses. We had a Umbreon EX. And so far, a Kartana GX. And I just cannot believe the goddamn shine. Look at that on the camera. Jesus. Okay. So, that's the brilliant way to, to kick off my uh, Crimson Invasion packs. So, um, I think... I think I'll, I might go with Guardians Rising. Or should I just go, or should I go Cinnamon Base? Let's go Guardians Rising. No harm in that. Um, I think Guardians Rising... Sun and Moon Base and Burning Shadows, I've opened booster boxes on all of them before. Oh, it's another one of these cards. Should mean we get something good. One, two, three, to the front, and... Yep, yeah, energy. So it should mean we, we should get something good. So, um, Multi-Switch, Watchhog, Panchamp, Gothita, Litwick. Fletching, Kavana, Reverse Alone and Sandshrew. What's on the end? Is it just going to be a hollow? Yeah, just a hollow, just a hollow Blissey. Although that's not, that doesn't look too bad. That actually looks quite like quite a nice card. But not to fear, we do have another Guardians Rise pack. So my verdict so far on these mysterious packs that you can get. Um, not too bad, actually. Uh, I was a bit disappointed with the packs. Mainly, like, X and Y and Sun and Moon stuff like that. I think they could have thrown in the black and white or something. But to be honest, uh, that way, there we go. So there's the code. Um, but for the pools we're actually getting, I don't think it's that bad. I actually think it's worth it. And energy? Yep. Steel energy. I think it's actually worth... The uh, the money like it's only eleven pound per five packs thing, so and it's not weighed by the looks of it. It's completely random, so you have the chance to pull an absolute banger of a card. So reverse victory bell and on the end, there we go. Another <laughs> GX, a Kamoo GX. I don't think I have this one from the set. So there we go. So so far, I've pulled one break card, and now three GXs. So yeah, it's really worth the money. Maybe I'm just getting really lucky. Who knows? But I'd say it's worth it. Give it a shot. You never know what you could get. So now we're going to go with Sun and Moon Base. Can we keep the luck going? No, he can't because he can't even open the goddamn pack. There we go. Let's keep this uh, going uh, that way. There we go. So there's the code. Let's keep this look going, man. Let's keep this trainer rolling. Free to the front. Energy card. Water energy. Flip it over. And let's see what we get. Hopefully, we get something good in this. I would like a full art, at least. I'm not really banking on a rainbow or secret rare. But I'm hoping to get at least a full art. I mean, I'm happy with the GXs. Reverse Cloister. And on the end... The no way! No freaking way! This is unreal. Are you seeing this shit? Are you actually seeing this? Full Art Solgaleo GX. That is insane. I can't believe it. I was just talking about a Full Art as well. And we go and pull... Full Art Solgaleo, son. Damn. Jesus Christ. 
Okay. Maybe the luck, it really is on my side. We're going to go with the next Sun and Moon pack. So I wonder if we could get the Rainbow Charizard, finally. We're going to go with the second to last booster. And flip. There is the code. Also, comment down below if you're getting some great pulls from these codes. Really want to know what people are getting. Are you having as good luck as I am right now? And the NG. Flip it. So. Nest Ball. Dartrix. Alone and Meowth. Uh, Picky Peck. Eevee. Psyduck. Spiro. Oh, okay. There's his evolution. Reverse Fero. What will we get on the end? Will the luck continue? Please. 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 Ah, uh, there we go. So nothing good there. I think um, this is probably the down, <laughs> the downhill now. There's probably nothing that we're going to get now from any other pack. And it comes down to this. Sun and Moon. Burning Shadows. I do like this set. Um, probably my favourite Sun and Moon set. But I'm hoping. Oh, it was that way. They flipped it. Ah, oh, so we know we're not getting anything good. So there's a code. It looks like we're going to be ending this video. On a bad note. Right on. Lunatone, Seedra, Pansage, Stuffle, Meowth, Crabrawler, Charmander, the yeah, Airman. You're looking sad, just like me. I was hoping to get the your older brother in the Rainbow version, but Reverse Curlia and a Heracross. Oh well. So yeah, there's there's that one. So that's all of them. I can't believe it. We've just gone through 10 packs. And we got some absolutely crazy ass pulls. I'm just grabbing all of them. So we got the Umbreon EX, the Yveltal Break card. The Solgaleo Full Art card. Kamoa GX. And Kartana GX. I am happy with all of them. Probably couldn't ask for better because I had no idea what I was even going to expect. I thought they might have been weighed. But I'm happy with that. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching it. As I have enjoyed opening these packs, my name is Fluffy, this has been The Game Zone. Bye bye!